great sand pit, and it's the third First time. of all, you have to tell oh. people who you are. Oh, hi. I'm Paula Fletcher. I'm the city councillor here for this playground, and we had a design. And what's the name of this playground? It what park are we in? Withrow Park. And this year we have a new playground in Withrow Park, and it was through a community design. The kids and the parents came out and said what they wanted, and we had a great design process and have a fabulously refurbished park now. Yes, we do. Now, you're just sitting, perhaps, in your favorite spot, maybe? Yes. This, this is so great. Look at this. We've got the pump, and pumping the water into the sand, building channels, Got the trucks out, got the pails out, just having the best dirty old time going. I love it. It feels like the beach without being at Toronto's waterfront. That's, I think, why this type of sand play is so exciting. This is the third one that I've done in a park in my ward. Because kids love water and they love sand. And when you put the two of them together with the pump, you just get great results. This is the play value here. It's hours and hours of play value. And it also keeps uh, the waiting pool from running in and out of the play, uh, the sand box, taking water from the waiting pool. So it's discreet. So we've seen that in other parks. That's sort of maybe not a mistake. They just didn't know any better. Well, in Greenwood, when we redid Greenwood, said let's put in a pump so we have a red pump over there and then Felstead took the waiting pool and which was closed and have been closed for years and half of it is a sand pit with the water coming out into it the other part is a grassy knoll and now this is Withrow with this sand area in behind the waiting pool so I just think these are great I think play value is really important in a playground and this is high, high play value. You're messy when you're finished, but you've had a great time. And I think that's important because being messy and getting dirty, your hands dirty, that's part of childhood. And it's kind of hard with our waterfront sometimes that it's hard for families to get down there. Well, it is hard to get to the waterfront and it's most of it is dock wall, so there's not a lot of sand. The, uh, I really got interested in playgrounds and parks when the school board tore all of playgrounds down in the year 2000 and we came back from a family holiday and my kids playground had been torn right down they without were, warning without warning overnight one day it was there the next day it was gone and uh, that broke their hearts and it also made me a playground advocate because those were great playgrounds that got taken down so I think when we're redoing playgrounds, we need to hear from kids, what do you like to do? And once we learn what they really like to do, see if they'd like more of it. And they love water, they love sand. Since we started talking, they've built this channel even further. It's really moving, this channel. I'm thinking they're gonna go all the way around here. So this is a day at the beach at Withrow Park. Well, I know when to stop recording and that's it. Thank you, Councillor Fletcher. You are so welcome. Thank you for being here and documenting this.